everyone, it's Sarah again and as the title says this video is going to be a cage tour, a proper introduction to my new piggies, hello, <laughs> and also a few shout outs. The shout outs are for people that have requested some videos and also those who suggested the names Annie and Lola. What are you doing Lola? then um, that, that, those are the names that I've chosen. I did in the end go with the A and the L like of their names that they were given in the rescue. Hello Sprite! <laughs> so um, they're getting on marvellously still which is really good and I'm just going to give you a proper tour of the cage. We'll start over here. Everyone seems to be gathering around here. <laughs> what are you doing? So. Uh, over there I've just put a food bowl and then there's the wooden thing Sprite's hut as I always call it because she adores being in there this is the little pad that I sewed for the bottom of the hut it's just um, fleece on both sides and it's got a waterproof layer in it as well it's just because they tend to pee a lot under there and that way the, the actual fleece here doesn't get too messy so I can just change the pad and wash that. Over in this corner we've got their litter tray which has always been there. I've just um, cleaned them out so that's why they're munching on hay. Then we'll get onto the top level later. <laughs> under the ramp they all like to sit under here. I guess it's a, a really nice place for them to go as it's kind of shady. I've got another little pad there because they tend to go to the toilet a lot there as well unfortunately. They've got their cuddle cup. This is quite an old one now. It's a bit flimsy. The ones that I make and sell have got a lot thicker wadding in. So this is just like one of the very first that I made and they tend to um, sit on it a lot and it just folds on itself. So that's one of the reasons why the proper ones have thicker wadding in. Then we've got their not, not nibbler. <laughs> I don't not quite know what it's called, which they haven't paid any attention to that. Then in this corner we've got Lola and she's in the litter tray and there's the hay rack. Then we've got the kebab which they also ignore. They've got another cuddle cup here which is the orangey one and then over here I just put that on top of there they kind of ignore that as well. This is where the fleece um, overlaps with the new one so I didn't want them to discover how to bury it under it so that's why we've got the wooden thing on it here and we've also got the stone just because if I <laughs> I'm worried that if they do decide to have a little explore under it they'll not stop doing it so that's just to prevent them doing that. Then we've got a tunnel in the middle just want to run through here we've now got two water bottles they seem to prefer this one a lot more which is strange but anyway so that's because I thought one would be fine because they don't really drink that much but I found that Annie does drink quite a lot maybe it's because she's a big piggy here we've got a second food bowl so that's two and then we're back to the beginning with there with the hut so hello pixie the ramp is I talked about it in my last video just a Corex ramp that I made with carpet on it then the top level um, is supported with by this grid. So in the top level we've got the igloo thing. I've started doing the top level as just a kind of hayloft because it does make it easier because it's just a, a small section. It is easier to clean than if I had a third fleece to wash. What, what I might do is if I want to use fleece I'll sew a little liner for this area that's my phone, <laughs> rather than having to wash a big fleece that's folded up. So in here they've got one of their hay cookies they've been munching on and in there it's just hay. So Pixie and Sprite do use the ramp but the new girls haven't really got the idea of it yet. When I have put them on it they kind of got a bit scared and turned around. <laughs> oh, there we go. So that's how it's done. Pixie and Sprite both go up there, um, but the others haven't 
decided that they want to go up there yet, which is fine. I'm sure they will get the idea eventually. I'll keep them um, kind of putting putting them on it or putting them at the bottom and then kind of teaching them to to walk up and down it because that's what I did first thing with Pixie and Sprite. I actually had to lift them on it before they got the idea and now they just use it as if they've had it all their lives. Don't you? Yes, your new favourite water bottle. So now I'm just going to get them out for some floor time and do the shout outs and tell you a bit about what I've learned about Lola and Annie's personalities. I'm just gonna put them out now as you can see <laughs> I love torturing my piggies <laughs> oh you've all gone away now they were all lined up here before we can come get your veggies oh I know yes you're beautiful okay come on then right so here they all are having their veggies here is Lola and as you can see she's a very very cute piggy she has, she's got white on her face and round the side to here and then she's kind of like a really light browny colour. So I chose the name Lola because it, it kind of sounds really gentle and she was called Lauren in the Rescue, it also sounds like Lauren. And she is quite sweet natured even though she does have a very loud squeak on her. Don't you? She is still very shy, she's the shyest piggy out of all of them I think. She'll always be a bit skittish, but I was holding her this morning and she did calm down. She even went to sleep a bit, so she obviously has the potential to be quite relaxed. She's just still settling in, I think. Oh dear. So this little squeaker is Annie. And I chose Annie because... Um, as she as the t as the days went past when um, we first got them, Antonia kind of just became her name, and we all we, we all called her Antonia. But I still wasn't too keen on it, so we settled for Annie, and it may be short for Antonia, but we're not sure, so we're just calling it Annie for now. And um, Annie is, she's a very big piggy. She is quite bossy. She likes to boss Lola around as she was the boss of them too when they were together. But Pixie is still the all round dominant piggy. Although Annie might overtake her, I'm not too sure. She is um, still a bit skittish. Let me touch her. Nope. <laughs> She's still a bit skittish, but not so bad as Lola. So as you can see, Annie is a Texel guinea pig, I think we've decided. There was someone who Australian cavey lover suggested that Lola is a Rex crossed with something else, which I think I agree with that. And Annie is definitely a Texel. Now in the rescue they said that they thought she might be a Merino guinea pig, but when I looked it up, Merinos have a crest on their head, like Lola does, where the hair kind of goes a bit everywhere. It can make them look a bit grumpy I think sometimes. But Annie doesn't have a crest unless she has a very very small one. But I, when I stroke her the hair just goes backwards. So we think she's Texel Piggy. And she's very big. <laughs> and you. <laughs> look at her face. Look at her little lips. Oh. And so she's the heaviest. Um, but I don't think she's overweight. She's just big. Everything is big about her. <laughs> Um, obviously she looks bigger because of the hair but also her head is big, her feet are big, her ears are big when you see them. So she's generally quite a chunky piggy. That kind of goes with her personality as well. She she is quite bold towards the other piggies. Um, she does have the potential to be the boss. So yeah, that's a bit about their personalities. They are still, as I said, they're still settling in so um, I'm sure they 
they become a bit more tame with a bit of handling, don't you? See, obviously Sprite doesn't mind being touched at all. Hey, no. But that is something as well, if you rescue guinea pigs, that you've got to accept they're going to be a bit more skittish. Oh, someone has actually been nibbling a bit of the courgette, which is interesting. It must be one of them two, because I know these hate it, don't you? You're like, ew, what is that? <laughs> Not bothered in the slightest. That's a, zoo a zucchini, I think it said, for any Americans out there, but we call it courgette in the UK. So that's an interesting vegetable difference <laughs> for anyone interested. So we'll get on to the shout outs. So obviously I decided on the names Lola and Annie, and the people that suggested one or both of these names are KV Kinda Crazy, NZ Loveheart, Mc Michaela Bulk, I think it's pronounced. Australian KV Lover said about the breeds, and I think she was right about a Rex Cross and a Texel. Piggies for one. Oh, and then we have some requests. KV Kinda Crazy suggested morning routine. Piggies and puppies wanted an organisation video and Hamster World Rocks wanted daily routine so I probably combine those two, the, the routine ones, into a daily routine. Now this has changed obviously because now I need to do two of everything and I have had to change the, the fleece in the cage more unfortunately because these two girls, as I expected, are not quite as litter trained as Pixie and Sprite. Lola is better. You, she'll jump in the litter tray and I'll see her using it. But I'm afraid Annie is a bit of a rebel in that department. She just pees and poops everywhere, unfortunately. <laughs> and I'm not sure there's anything I can do about that. Although I will. I just sweep up the poos and put them in the litter trays and try and encourage her. Um, I have seen her using the corner one a few times, so let's hope um, she is using that. Although you can't really tell with the fleece because as soon as they pee it just disappears. Oh, it's you, is it? You're eating the courgette. I'm not like keen on it though. Maybe you like the middle bit, that's an end bit. <laughs> so those videos, a routine video, an organisation video, will be coming up soon. And I'm also going to do that treats video which I talked about because that is something I do feel quite strongly about. And also I will do a video on how to care with piggies with long hair. If, if you notice from the last video she has had a trim. <laughs> For some reason this she wouldn't let me get to this side. <laughs> but I've done most of around here. So basically, there, there we go. You can see a lot more of her, more of her bum. Which is good because it's all a bit oh where are you going piggy it's all a bit dirty around the end and we don't want it all getting stuck in the fur and everything <laughs> oh lola so cute but yeah they definitely have quite strong personalities <laughs> although lola's quite shy she does just go in there and grab whatever veggies she wants and stuff and he's doing it now you can't fit down there you're too big so you're quite brave, aren't you? Just a bit shy when it comes to humans. No. Oh dear. There we go. Oh, so you won't let me stroke you. And Lola being younger as well, she is quite adventurous. She likes to explore anything I put out. Obviously the others are still kind of still focused around the vegetable area, but she's off doing her own thing. And you piggy. <laughs> so that's bye from me. Bye from Pixie. Bye from Annie. And Sprite. And Lola. Who's running away. Come on, show us your face. No. Okay then. Bye!